the progress section on the system is where you can view all of a child's achievement dates of early years outcomes, observations, next steps, parent added next steps, parent added observations, starting points and baseline that has been added to the system. When you arrive at the overview page you will see a list of the children on the system. This page displays their first last name, date of birth and age and then you can see a parents column and a view column. If the parent column has a magnifying glass this will indicate that parents have added their own observations related to their child. To view parent added observations simply click on the magnifying glass to view the observations that have been left. You will now be taken to the parent observation page for your selected child. Here you can see all the observations that have been added for that child. In this example one observation has been added by Harry's parents and the observation states that Harry told us all the colours of the rainbow today. We were very impressed and excited. You do not have to accept any observations that have been added by parents. If you do not want to add the observation, click on the delete icon in the right hand corner and click on save. If you would like to use this observation, which is highly recommended, you will need to link it to at least one early years outcome within the EYFS. To do this, simply select the area of learning, the aspect and the outcome that you would like to link it to. If you would like to link it to more than one outcome, click on the Add Early Years Outcome button to select another outcome that you would like to link it to. If you would like to change the observation date, do this by clicking on the box and selecting the new observation date. Once you are happy with the details you have entered, simply click on the Save button to save the parent added observation. You will now see on the overview page that there is no magnifying glass icon for the parent column for Harry. This is because there are no additional observations that have been added by their parents. To view the progress section for a child, click on the view icon, select the area of learning that you would like to jump to. We're going to go straight to CL for communication and language. You will now be taken to the progress section for Harry and you will see we've arrived at communication and language and we are in the first aspect of listening and attention. You can jump through the aspect simply by clicking on the tabs at the top of the page. When you click on the different tabs, you will see that the outcomes change beneath. All the outcomes within your selected aspect within the area of learning, in this example communication and language, will be displayed and broken down by age range. Initially you have a general box and then you have the birth to 11, 8 to 20, all the way through to 40 to 60 months. In addition, at the bottom you will have the early learning goals. Anytime you add an observation, next step, parent added observation, parent added next step, starting points baseline, photograph and video, all of that information appears within the progress section. You will note on the right hand side, next to the early years outcome, we have a number of small circles. Some of these circles are coloured and indicate different things related to this outcome. We have a red circle. Mousing over will tell you that the child has not achieved the early years outcome by the recommended age. This means in this example that Harry is currently 27 months old. For the early years outcomes within birth to 11, he has not achieved listening to familiar sounds and the fleeting attention early years outcome. Because he has not achieved these by the age of 11 months, the system is showing a red icon indicating that he has not achieved them. These icons give you a clear indication within the progress section of exactly what is going on for each outcome. Therefore, if we were to add an achievement date into this outcome, you will see instantly that the red icon turns to a green icon. The green icon means that the child has achieved the early years outcome. The orange icon indicates that an outcome has at least one observation assigned to it. To view that observation, click on the manage icon and select show achievements. You will see here that an observation was added on the 12th of January. You can edit or delete the observation. If an outcome has a pending observation, i.e. an administrator has added an observation but it has not yet been approved, 
you will see this box will display a pink icon. This will indicate that the observation is currently pending and once approved will display as an orange icon indicating that an observation has been added to the outcome. The blue icon indicates that the next step has been assigned to the outcome. These can be seen within the Progress Next Step section. A yellow icon indicates that this outcome has one or more photographs assigned to it. The final icon will show as purple if at least one video has been added to the outcome. Clicking on this eye icon at the top of the age group will show or hide all achievements within that age range. If you would like to add any achievements, for example observations, photographs or videos, select the manage icon to the right hand side and select the option that you would like to proceed with. For example, view photos, add photos, add videos, add observations, add next steps or add sample next steps. At the top of the page is this filter box. If you're searching for a particular outcome but you're not sure exactly where it is, you can type the first few letters of the word into this box and the system will filter all the outcomes. For example, let's type in the word looks. As you type, the system will filter all the outcomes and display only those containing your filter word. In this example, looks. There is only one outcome within communication and language listening and attention that contains the word looks. Typing in the word turns displays all the outcomes with the word turns. You can also switch between aspects and display if any other outcomes within those aspects contain your filtered word. If you want to add an observation to an outcome, you can do this by simply selecting the Manage icon and choosing Add Observations. A pop-up will appear and you will see straight away that Elephant Room Harry Harvey has appeared in the right hand column which is in the included section. This means that Harry Harvey will be included within this observation. If you'd like to add the same observation for an additional child, you can simply select the children that you want to be included within this observation. All the children listed on the right hand side within the included section will appear within this observation. If you don't want them in the observation, click them again and move them back across to the other side. You will also see that the area of learning, aspect and outcome has automatically been selected. This is because the system knows the outcome that you selected to add the observation to. You can enter your observation into this box and you can select the characteristics of effective learning to be added to your observation by selecting from the drop down box. Your selected COEL will appear within the observation box. Once you are happy with the children you have selected, the date of the observation, your observation and the area of learning aspect and outcome you have linked it to, click on the save button. Your observation will instantly appear within the progress section for the child or children that you have chosen. Here we can see it here. If you need to make any changes, click on the edit icon to the right hand side. As well as adding observations directly within the progress section, you can also add photographs and videos. To do this, select the outcome that you would like to add the photograph and video to and select the add photos or add videos option. They both work in the same way, so we're going to show you how to add photos. Click on add photos and then click on the upload button to select the photo that you would like to upload. The system will now allow you to browse through your local device and find the photographs you would like to upload. Once you have selected the photographs that you want to upload, they will instantly be uploaded to your selected child's progress section. The date will be shown and you can also add a title and a description if you want to. In addition, you can also click the duplicate to progress button and you can duplicate this photograph to additional early years outcomes. Just select the area of learning, aspect and outcome that you would like to link it to and then click on duplicate. You can repeat this process for as many outcomes as you want. Once you have finished, click on the close icon at the top of the page. 
You will now see on the outcome that we selected that the icon has turned yellow, indicating that this outcome has at least one photograph. Clicking on the Manage icon and selecting View Photos will display the photographs that were uploaded to that outcome. Scrolling down, you will now see that you can, if you want to, add this photograph to additional outcomes. Select the area of learning, aspect and outcome that you would like to link it to and click on Duplicate. The photograph has now been duplicated to that outcome as well. You can also add photograph comments and parents can add photograph comments. Do this by simply adding your comment and clicking on the Add Comment button. Click on the Close icon in the top corner to close the window. You can add next steps directly from the Progress section as well. To do this, select the Manage icon and click on the Add Next Steps or Add Sample Next Step button. You will see instantly Harry Harvey has been selected as included within this list and as we selected the Sample Next Step button, you will see the Next Step sample has already been added. In addition, the Area of Learning, Aspect and Outcome has already been selected for us. You will see here that there is some text within the Sample Next Step that says Child's Name. What the system will do is will automatically replace the text child's name for the child's actual first name. Therefore, if you were to link this next step to multiple children, the word child's name would appear correctly for each child. Therefore, for Dan, it would say, allow plenty of opportunities for Dan to make their own choices. And for Harry, it would say Harry. Once you are happy with the next step, scroll to the bottom and click on the Save button. You will now see that the icon has turned blue, indicating that this early years outcome has a next step assigned to it. If you want to mark an early years outcome as achieved, simply click in the box and select the date the child achieved the outcome. If you need to delete the achievement date of an early years outcome, simply select the delete icon shown here. You will see alongside the date and the delete icon there is a small icon. Mousing over indicates the name of the administrator who added the achievement date for this early years outcome. Scrolling back to the top of the page, you will see we have all the areas of learning within the EYFS. Currently, we are in communication and language. To switch areas of learning, simply click on the tab. We are now within expressive arts and designs. Everything I showed you for communication and language works in exactly the same way for each area of learning. Adding achievements, photographs, etc. is all done in exactly the same manner. It is very important that you keep each child's progress section updated. Many of the progress sections on the system use the child's data that you have recorded within the progress section to create reports. For example, the progress trackers use children's achievement dates and observations to create a tracker for the child. The progress statistics section creates graphs on the achievement dates of early years outcomes. The achievement search, termly reports and two year progress checks pulls in all the data within the progress section to create various reports. Therefore it is very important to keep this section updated at all times. Although you can add observations and next steps directly from within this progress section, you can actually add observations and next steps when you are on any page in the system. For example, if you were in the medical accident section and you realize you needed to add an observation or next step or sample next step for a child, you can actually do it from the three icons shown here at the top of the page. Clicking on the observation icon will pop up a new screen and you can instantly add observations for one or more children. Simply select the child or children you want to add the observation for. On the left, children are excluded and on the right, children are included. Then add your observational text in here and select the characteristics of effective learning if you want this to appear within the observation. You can also add photographs directly at the same time that you add your observation. To do this, click on the Upload button and select the photos from your device that you would like to upload. Once your photographs have uploaded, you will see the date and you can now add a title and description. You now need to link your observation with photographs to the area of learning, aspect and outcome that you would like to link them to. When adding an observation in this way, you can add up to four observations with four photographs linked to four early years outcomes.
Once you have completed the information, click on the Save button at the bottom of the page. This box will now disappear and you remain on the Accidents and Incident page that you were on. However, the Observation with Photograph has automatically added to the Child's Progress section. You can do the same for Next Steps and Sample Next Steps.